Hey guys, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So apologies, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, I was attempting to film a couple videos like last week, like a vlog, and I meant to film some other things and it was not it, okay? But I did want to share, I got in my Sensi club. If you saw from the, um, cover photo of this video. I have the new Harry Potter bars in there, but I also got a whiff box. So I think I'm going to go ahead and unbox the whiff box first. Um, if you haven't seen spoilers of the whiff box yet, good for you because it's not anywhere close to the beginning of the month in my opinion. And I think like literally on the first, there was already spoilers out. So if you haven't, skip ahead maybe a couple minutes. I'm going to go through this relatively quickly because like I said, spoilers were out early, early this month, but there's a lot of fun surprises in here. So let's get into it and then we'll get into the bars I got in my club and talk about the Harry Potter bars. So clean it like you mean it is the theme here for the April whiff box. Um, right off the bat, this box was fairly heavy and I feel like this is one of the main reasons why. We have a whole entire container of Scentsy Swipes in here. I just got these <laughs> in my last Scentsy order, which I thought was super funny, but I am definitely going to be sampling these out to my customers. I just need to package them up, but I feel like I can fold them up, put them in a little bag, and I feel like this would be such a fun thing to share with my customers and sample out because, I don't know, I love a good wipe and obviously anything scentsy, right? So, okay. Then we also have a bathroom cleaner in banana leaf and bamboo so this i actually am currently using as my current bathroom cleaner because i had it open once again for samples i really like this scent in the cleaning line i don't mind it in the actual wax but i think i like it better for cleaning just because it has that kind of like fresh clean feeling it does not say the scent notes on here. I wasn't sure if it would or not. And then the bathroom cleaners have that like spray foamy nozzle because that the bathroom cleaner foams up. And then we have some whiff box exclusives in here. One of them being pink sunshine dish soap. So I am so excited. When I saw this was in the spoilers, I didn't even read the scent. I just saw it was dish soap and I was like, let's go. I still have some Scentsy dish soaps on backup because I had plenty before they got discontinued. I'm sure I bought some when they were in the clearance section because I do genuinely really like the Scentsy dish soap and it's not the only dish soap I use. We use the Scentsy dish soap and then we also use like the it's not Dawn, Dawn Power Wash. We like make our own um, Dawn Power Wash. We use the Dawn Power Wash container with just like the Kirkland or the Sam's Club, like generic knockoff Dawn dish soap. So we use kind of those two. So we use the like foamy spray. And then I like this for like letting things soak. So I have a pumper on it from our laundry liquids and I'll pump a pump in there. I love the fact that I can put a pump on it and then I will like just, you know, fill it up to let it soak. It foams up really nicely. So I really enjoy these and it, they just have such a pleasant scent. Currently, I have perfect peppermint out. Not very seasonally appropriate, but we're doing what we can with what we have because the dish soaps aren't available anymore. So really fun to see this. And this scent was from the, what collection last year? Valentine's Day? I'm not exactly positive what collection Pink Sunshine was a part of, but I have the fragrance flower in Pink Sunshine actually going at work. It was like a pink, um, the oil was pink, so now the flower has turned pink, so that's really fun. And then I do believe this is also another with Box exclusive, but it's Key Lime and Grapefruit Scentsy Bar. So, oh, that's actually really pretty. It's it smells like just what it's called, but it's almost, I, when I hear the word lime, I think of like so intense. I feel like every lime scent is always super intense, 
But this, and I don't know if it's the grapefruit, it almost has like a slight sweetness to it. And it's like kind of more subdued in a good way. That's really pretty. It's definitely leaning more citrus to me and I'm not normally a huge citrus fan. Corey loves citrus. I'm more of a bakery <laughs> spice person. That's not bad. Interesting. I wonder what this is a sneak peek for. I mean, I know we've been doing the whole whiff box exclusive thing and like, yes, this came in a dish soap. Do I expect things to happen in this? Like, will pink sunshine be in cleaning in the future? I don't know. But a bar, I feel like a bar feels like something that could be coming in the future. Like when they did maraschino sugar cookie. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this again. I would probably be surprised if we saw the pink sunshine. This would not shock me though if it came back in some form in the future. And then I believe this is the last thing in here. This is the next month's scent of the month. So love that they do this sneak preview for people who get whiff boxes. And I love it for myself personally because I love a sneak peek. Um, this is called Blooming Marvelous. This is the scent for May and I had very low expectations for this. Also, just really quickly, speaking about May's scent of the month, the warmer of the month for May is the pink retro truck. So the retro truck that I've, they've put out in multiple colors, it's going to be pink. And it's going to have, I think the like thing that they put in the tailgate or like the back of the truck is like a flower situation, I do believe. I think that's going to be a major hit and sell it really fast. But anyway, this scent, I feel like the truck captured a lot of my attention and the scent I didn't really pay much attention to. It's called Blooming Marvelous. I was like a floral. Eh. I had to open this and I had to smell it already. I couldn't help myself. It smells so pretty. I don't know what the notes are in here. I should have just looked them up. It kind of, it's like a very faint floral, but I, I'm getting like vanilla or something mixed in. It's really beautiful. I feel like there's definitely a lot of vanilla and not bakery vanilla, but something like not sweet per se, but just like making it smooth floral like it's not like biting even some of the florals I personally like so not rose but like jasmine even like sparkling magnolia like some of those scents sometimes they can have like a little bit because they're just like florals are intense like perfect peony peony petals not peony petals that one was recent that was very much like biting I liked it but it was intense I'm not getting any of that intensity, just super, super pretty. So I'm going to have to warm this. On my initial first sniff, I almost was like, oh, it kind of reminds me of summer holiday. Now that I re-sniffed it a little bit, I wouldn't say it reminds me of summer holiday as much as I originally thought. Um, let me smell summer holiday. I actually have it right here. They're not that similar golly I, I maybe it's the color maybe it's the color they're almost the same exact color summer holiday definitely does remind you of that kukui and coconut but it's kind of like almost more tropical and this is more like spring almost fruity floral i feel like there's a vanilla or something in here evening that out. I don't know. I'm really curious to actually warm this and try it out because it smells really good. I was really impressed by that one so far. Just cold snap. Okay. Let's move on to the Harry Potter bars. Corey and I also did sniff through these because we couldn't help ourselves. Um, I think initially based on names the most the one I was most excited about was cauldron cake so I'm just gonna start there um I had seen people say that this one was fairly spicy and I find the color kind of interesting but I thought it was funny that they were saying it was spicy but once I smelled it I totally agree 
Also, I think this color is making me think like pumpkin spice. I don't know that there's pumpkin in here, like if I'm getting pumpkin, but this color is making me think pumpkin. That's the kind of like spice I'm getting. Like it feels like a very like pumpkin spice bread-esque type of scent, which is not what I'm necessarily going for this time of year. So this one felt very odd to me once I smelled it. Like initially I was thinking it was going to be like a cake pop-esque. I don't know why, but just like based on the other scents in this collection, I thought this was going to be more like cake pop-y, but it's like spiced bread bordering pumpkin. I feel like it's giving me pumpkin bread vibes. So I was not as happy about this one once I smelled it. I was hoping like I was reading some of those reviews from people and I was like, golly, I hope that's like a fluke and I get something like really sweet. Not entirely the case. So next we have Fizzing Wisbees and this one, Corey said he thought this smelled like Gosh, what did he say? Some kind of candy, like nerds or something. And I thought it smelled, I'm like totally blanking now. What did I tell him I thought it smelled like? It's like a very artificial candy. I mean, honestly, it kind of smells like the whole culmination of the candy store when you walk in. Oh, I told him I thought it smelled like licorice. Like, not in a bad way, but like, you know, the little like Twizzler, like the, the tiny ones, like the little bite-sized pieces. That was like my initial reaction. I was like, it kind of reminds me of those. Like it's a little bit fruity, but it's a little bit of that just like, you know how licorice like tastes, but I definitely feel like it smells stronger today than when I smelled it yesterday. I feel like the bottom still kind of is giving me that licorice vibe. It's definitely just like a very fruity, sugary scent. Probably a little bit heavier on the fruity than the sugar for me. It's not like um, the Cotton Candy Tales recently. That was like all sugar. <laughs> um, but this one's kind of interesting. I'm curious to see like throughout the whole house. I'm hoping it's like fruity enough that it's not like just straight up sugar and I think it could be I I'm feeling fairly good about that one um this is exploding bonbons I believe and this one once again is also orange Corey was like that's weird that there's two oranges and I was like initially I wasn't thinking much of it and I was like you know what you're kind of right I, I was like is this a is the mix up like I don't know I was like now that you say that that is kind of weird this one is probably my second favorite and I honestly can't put my finger on what it smells like. Like even last night, Corey didn't say anything about this one. He just smelled it was like, okay, next. But it almost is giving me like an orange drink, not like an orange soda because I don't feel like it's fizzy. It kind of, like orange starburst as we've been eating mambas at work recently so i have orange mamba on the brain but i don't know if it's quite that i feel like it's maybe more like orange starburst than orange mamba starburst to me have more flavor more flavoring than mambas do but they're kind of the same texture but it's definitely like creamsicle orange that type of vibe it's not giving me like the ice cream tangerine creamsicle but definitely more of a more like creamy orange versus a citrusy orange once again feels like it's got a lot of like vanilla or something smoothing it out running through it and I feel like that's why it's my second favorite like I, I didn't know what to expect from this one I didn't really have any expectations but like I said I think this is gonna be my second favorite, exploding bonbons. Yeah, so if you couldn't tell by <laughs> what we've talked about, this one I do believe is my favorite and this was definitely Corey's favorite. This is Sherbert Lemon. And is it my favorite like I'm gonna buy it by the truckload or like keep it in my club? Probably not, but just based on the categories we had here, 
I'm probably, I would probably lean most towards this one. It's definitely lemon. I mean, sherbet lemon. Like, I do think it smells like what it says it is. But it's very intense lemon, and I think it, it borders the line of cleaner lemon. Definitely borders it. I don't think it's like right underneath it, but it could tip either way. Like maybe depending on other scent factors in your house or how you're feeling that day. Like I don't think it's very distinctly on cold sniff alone. Obviously I haven't warmed any of these, but like I don't pick up a ton of like vanilla or anything extra in here making it not necessarily cleaner lemon. But also I'm I'm thinking like when you get sherbet that's lemon flavored or like these types of things, it generally is like pretty intense compared to like vanilla ice cream. Like when you get the lemon flavor, it's just a little bit more intense. I don't know. I know I can, I can see how some people would perceive this as cleaner lemon though. It's definitely right on the edge for me. It's, I feel like this is a pretty authentic lemon smell though, personally. So obviously this was Corey's favorite. He's a big citrus fan, as I've said before in this video. And so I was like, if you want to completely take that one and warm it, go off and <laughs> do it if you want to. So we'll see what happens. But I'm going to quickly, just for the rest of this video, finish up with what's in my club. I have pared down my club a lot recently. So this is a lot smaller than clubs past, if you will. So we have Toffee Butter Crunch. We have Cutie Pie Cupcake. We have Birthday Wishes. Of me a birthday cake snack. We have Coconut Daiquiri. This is actually coming back this summer and bring back my bar. And this scent is like a coconut banana scent. It is really nice. I, this came out right when we went on, um, like our first kind of, not our first couple trip, but like our first trip during COVID. So it was a little bit of a stressful time, you know, like things were kind of half shut down, half open. And I brought this along with us. We went to, um, Myrtle beach in South Carolina and I warmed that in our hotel room while we were there. Beautiful. Um, I have some Dumbo. This is Circus Parade since there's two Dumbo scents now. Uh, vanilla Walnut. I need to give this one another test because last time, um, if you guys watched my What I've Been Warming video when I warmed this last time, I felt like I didn't get the performance I thought I initially did. So we'll test that again. I like the scent profile, but if it doesn't perform, like, being a bakery, if it doesn't perform where I need it to, like, I'm not going to solely keep a bakery in my club dorm in my bedroom. It'd have to be, like, something real special, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's just a basic, basic. If it's not going to do what I want, it's got to go. So we also have sugar, really fun scent. Uh, churro, churro. Sh uh, strawberry swirl. This one definitely had to stay for Corey. He's a big fan of this one. This one is a very like lactonic, <laughs> milky scent. Literally smells like a strawberry milkshake. You very much get the milk note. Okay, let's move that. This, I just wanna say, this is the smallest box I've probably ever gotten for club. It's insane. Uh, we have Glacier Water. This is available in body care, I wanna say. This is such an interesting scent to me. On cold, I've talked about this many, many a time, but on cold, this is a very like fresh profile scent and it kind of comes off as something that like I probably wouldn't like, but this is a true sign of like a scent that I warm and I become obsessed with it. This scent, I like probably better on day three and four and maybe even five than I do when I start warming it. This one is one that as it keeps going, I just fall more and more in love with it. Kind of as those like top notes kind of start to wear away and just like we get into the heart of the scent. Beautiful. 
that's why it's in my club still if i was solely basing it on cold sniff i probably wouldn't have it in my club still but warming it i know i love it as it goes on it's one of those scents that i'm like i don't want to change the warmers because i'm just still enjoying it every day i enjoy it more okay we have forever yours we have watermelon mint this one's fun because it's green and red only a couple more. We have Candy Crave and Apple Butter Frosting. Not necessarily a combo I would do there, but they're just next to each other. And then I think this is, oh, no, a couple more. Um, we have Hazelnut Latte. This one's really yummy. Honeymoon Hideaway. This one's also really yummy. This is such a just like complex scent. It's so different from anything I've ever smelled. It's so interesting. This one was available in one of the first Bring Back My Bars when I was a consultant, and I really haven't seen it since. Uh, Blue Coconut Beach. This is a really nice coconutty scent. Ooh, I really like that one. And then Sparkling Magnolia, one of my favorites. This one smells like abercrombie to me like it takes me back to when i was in like middle school and we had an abercrombie in the mall and it was like super cool to go in there like it was like super dark music super loud like it totally smelled like perfume and cologne it just takes me back it's so so yummy but it's actually like a very sophisticated scent but it totally reminds me of that so the box is empty we went through everything i know i have three stacks of these six bars so would that be 18 um which feels pretty good so for my club personally so yeah that is everything i have for my scentsy club um i just wanted to share definitely the whiff box and my thoughts on the harry potter harry potter scents because some of you are asking me about those but yeah, just wanted to pop on and share those with you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.